Okay, here we are back. We've got the front of the motor tore down. I've got my zoom down in there. I'm kind of dragging my feet. Wind's blowing a little bit here. I'm trying to wind's supposed to die off here in a few hours, and then I'll probably go ahead and open it up. But I'm trying to drag my feet. So don't feel me Indian full of dust. That's <laughs> reality isn't it all right Just apologize for the wobble there's a zero on that timing tape. let's see if i can steady this up um there's a little bitty groove in that harmonic bouncer if you see it there's a zero and then a little bitty notch now i don't like that timing tab because it covers up the majority of my timing mark on the harmonic bouncer that is zero i turn it around with my big pry bar or breaker bar and uh, brought it up to that then we'll get over here to the rotor button on the distributor which is that little thing right there see that that's the rotor button I call it it is in line with number one cylinder which is underneath that pipe right there the header which at my age I don't like headers anymore I like regular exhaust easier to work on get to the spark plug anyway but uh, there is the alignment that's the way I've been timing these motors since I was a kid um, you can scoot that button over just a little bit more and it'll fire off the second one on the distributor earlier in my video I was talking about one and two you can change your timing a little bit uh, most small blocks run pretty good on this old school timing depending on the cam now the cam is very critical um, also too when you you know move your timing around you can change your core degrees your temperature and your core your piston cylinders five degrees or so so you got to watch your temperatures if you advance them too much you can overheat that was a big thing um, so every time you advance time and you change temperature temperatures go up and temperature are is your enemy heat is your enemy I like to run this motor around 190 um, it runs around 200 which is fine operating temperature actually is 210 but I like to keep mine around 190 that radiator doesn't do it that little plastic garbage POS doesn't do that. I gotta get a 4-4 radiator and put in. But anyhow, this is where I'm at right at the moment. I still gotta undo headers, uh, pull valve covers, do the other side, and I will continue on with this. <laughs> 